So here they are, two of the brand new uh, drawer cabinets from Reiko. Like I said, three drawers per row. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So that's very nice, that's 16 uh, drawers. And they are as big as these draw, uh, drawer cabinets, so very good. I will stack them to the wall um, as soon as I receive the five other units. So uh, yeah, that'll be a nice addition to the stores. Plenty of room to add parts. So I'll, the, the next delivery will be five of the 60, 60 drawers, drawer cabinets. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. Now let's start to pick the order. Quarter past nine in the evening, finished putting away the foosball uh, minifigure parts. And I am now at uh, 7,011 lots and 215,144 items available. So that's uh, that's all right. Then I have this order which I picked, uh, containing some uh, Marvel items and some Harry Potter uh, minifigures. Um, still needs a sticker sheet, but that is still at the attic. So I will uh, source that tomorrow morning after I brought the children to school. So that's it for this evening. Catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. It is a Tuesday evening, April the 18th. It's uh, 20 to 8 in the evening. And I am uh, going to pick two orders, uh, 65 lots, 408 items. One of the orders is actually for a... Uh, a uh, person that lives in my home hometown so he will come and collect uh, the other one is i have no idea uh which is a belgian customer as well so uh gonna pick po both orders and then depending on the remaining time i might put away some lego bricks or uh start uh, cataloging some uh, minifigure parts or minifigures, uh, complete minifigures. So yeah, that's my plan for this evening. So finished uploading, um, sorry, finished picking the two orders. One was almost completely black bricks and the other one was uh, uh, standard bricks, black, light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, but nothing special at all. Now I'm gonna check, uh, I have here a couple of deliveries from this week. I uh, need to check which are the standard bricks. There should be some in one of these and some are minifigures, so I, that I need to check. The standard bricks I will unpack and upload. And then these are already dividers for the Reiko uh, drawer units. So these I can put aside and then I will open up these boxes and see what is inside. So the first box I opened contains these uh, light bluish gray 2x2 two two bricks. Should be about 360 of them. And I bought them from the uh, brick store Almere Bricks in the Netherlands. So thank you very much for the delivery. I just gonna count them to make sure that the quantity is correct not to confront uh, the seller with, but just to have the correct quantity in my stores. Now, obviously, if there are missing 100 of them, then in that case, I will confront the seller. But in the other case, yeah, well, mistakes do happen. So I'm gonna put them on the counting scale and uh, we'll go from there. If you like, I can show you how that works. Uh, let's see. Grab me, Ooh. and there's a free <laughs> brick separator inside. Oh my god, almerebricks.nl, very nice, very nice. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab me one, two, three, four bricks. And now let's show you how this works. Unit is already on, so that's cool. Put a, a PAB cup inside. Obviously that's the weight of the PAB cup. I have to wait until this light is on. It is on. I can put it on there, I suppose. Yeah, there. Then it has the weight on zero. Now I put four of the two by two bricks in. It gives the weight of the four bricks combined. The light is on. Now I type in the number of the bricks, which is four. And then I put on sample. There we go. And so now it's just a question of filling the box. Uh, gonna do that. Hold on. Let's see if I can fabricate something. Uh, can I switch screens? No. Yeah, you can't see it very well, but now I will pour those bricks inside. I have 164. Just gonna take another cup now, make it 160, just counts better. 160 so I'm gonna show you what it does uh, open up yoink so poured in the bricks and then it tells me here it's our 160 bricks inside this cup so that's really easy to count and really fast so now what I'll do is I'll just replace the cup normally the weight should be approximately the same or exactly the same. It says not, so I'm gonna put it on zero again, just to be sure. Put another two, four, six bricks inside. Now, if it's uh, uh, those kind of bricks, one brick should do, but usually the higher the number is especially if you are weighing high amounts of, of of bricks the higher the number is the more accurate it is that is certainly true for the smaller items like uh, these but these are still okay but then you have like the one by one or here the pins those are really light in weight and the one by one uh, plates and one by one round plates are they here here these ones so these weigh really really uh they have a very low weight so of these if you want to count them on the machine uh, i take at least 10 to give uh, the base the start weight so uh gonna count them again and let's see how many we have so i have first cup was 160 Let's start counting. So now I weigh 200 or, or the uh, uh, scale counted 200 bricks together with the uh, 160 makes 360. And that should be exactly what I have ordered. If I'm not mistaken, screen saver, cre screen saver is on. Sorry for my, <laughs> ah, it's late already. 360 bricks exact so yeah that's cool so i'm gonna put those uh, probably in a drawer or in a uh, tub over there yeah that's cool so first order ready to close and to add into my inventory so next delivery is from a shop in uh, belgium uh, store name Mocket, M-O-C-Cat. And uh, I ordered their 1x4 light bluish grey bricks, new condition. 
about 330 ones and I will add them here into my drawer. So first gonna count them and then put them away straight away. Hello everybody, just wanted to show you something. As you may already know, a brick store has collaborated with um, Brick of Nice. Sorry, couldn't get to the name. So Brick Store has collaborated with Brick of Nice. Um, in such a way that uh, you can connect a camera to the PC or a webcam, whatever. Take a picture of the part that you need. In this case, we're gonna try it out with Dobby, the elf. And then you can simply add it to your uh, catalog. And uh, for my setup, I use actually a camera that I bought from the company Instabrick. It's an Italian based company where I bought this from. They first had uh, uh, developed this kind of uh, program. But I have to say, I think the combination of Brick Store and Brick and Ice together works faster and without any errors so far. So let's try it out. Oh, the plus size of, of, of this uh, camera is that it also has some LED lights. So the image is also very clear, which is uh, better to recognize the parts, I suppose. So in a uh, brick store, you click here on the camera button, click, and then it opens up the camera. As you can see, now we're gonna position the part a bit better. It's a minifigure, so that's correct. And then we're gonna click on the picture. And now it's searching. And the first one actually that comes up is the correct one, is Dobby. So you click on that. If it comes with several colors, colors you could select the color that's uh, applicable. And then it gives you already, uh, like it usually does, Brick Store gives you the prices. So you now can just uh, give it a location and uh, I'll give it a location which is uh, pre-sort 2-2, click add, and here it is in my catalog uh, of Brick Store ready to upload to Bricklink. So this is a much faster way to uh, recognize uh, minifigures and all sorts of items. Like for instance, I had this, uh, I don't know how you call it in, in English, it's uh, a club, yeah. <laughs> I didn't suspect it was uh, a Lego, but uh, yeah, due to taking the picture, uh, Brick and Ice immediately recognized it. So it's really cool, really cool uh, collaboration. It works uh, almost flawlessly, so yeah. Very interesting. Check it out if you are, uh, especially for those people uh, sorting out used lots and and especially for minifigures, I think it's really useful, really useful. So in this video, I will show you how to print a, a shipping label on a uh, Dymo Label Writer 5XL which according to me is about the same way as you should do it on any other uh, label writer like the 4, 4XL, 4XL Turbo or whatever there are. So I have this uh, Belgian Post a shipping label which is uh, on a PDF uh, A4 format. Obviously that does not comply with the uh, Dymo uh, label itself. So how can you do it? As soon as you have uh, installed the uh, Dymo label writer software, you just click on print and then select the Dymo label writer. 
And then uh, somewhere in here, obviously this is all in Dutch, um, but somewhere in here a page is set up, I think it is. You can select the correct label, which is the 4 inch by 6 inch over here. Select OK. And now we go to uh, select, um, in Dutch it says aangepaste schaal, in um, English it is um, the scale uh, adjusted by yourself. And then the uh, position on which it has to be printed, you can choose it as well. And if you select here, the third option it's the portrait mode if i'm not uh, not a portrait but the uh, landscape mode and then if you downgrade the scale here a bit to let's say 95 percent that should do the trick so if i now click print label is printed very nice as it should you can do the same principle on the uh, whatever shipping label you have which comes on a, a A4 document just select a 4 inch by 6 inch label and then adjust some settings like landscape or portrait mode and uh, you should be good to go. Hello everybody, it is uh, Monday evening, the 1st of May. And I just want to give you an update on uh, how my month of April has been so far. I had, uh, as you can see, 61 orders with a total uh, items sold of nearly 18,000 items. An average sale value of 35 euros coming up to two uh, sales per day which gives me a total sales income of 2150 euros i have to say this is not entirely correct because i did also um, receive an order outside of bricklink and bricklaw for another uh, nearly 150 euros so the total will be 2300 euros give or take most of the orders came from bricklink so i received 43 bricklink orders and 18 brick owl orders um, of the items sold almost 17,000 new items and 934 used items and of all the items sold uh, there were 55 minifigures 24 sets but these are uh, custom minifigures so that's 97 uh, 17 yeah 97 um, 79 god damn it minifigures in total and 17,850 parts give or take most items sold is light bluish gray and then next is black and then reddish brown dark bluish gray and white and i think usually that is the same for everybody as in what colors are sold the most so that's it for my month of april uh, obviously it's uh, i think the best month i had this far so I'm very, very happy. Uh, I have to thank all my customers for placing the orders. Thank you so much. Thanks for uh, leaving comments uh, on my vlogs, uh, asking questions. I received a ton of questions uh, last month on which I tried to answer my best. So it was uh, 
Yeah, it was a hell of a ride last month. I thank you very much and I hope you catch you to catch you on the next one. Thanks again and have a good rest of your week.